What's up, everybody? It's Aaron coming to you from the Best Family Homestead. Uh, from uh, the disaster of the Best Family Homestead shop, which is a project that's going to be getting done here in the next couple weeks. Uh, I'm finally getting this thing cleaned up from the past couple of months of uh, whirlwind stuff we've been doing and getting it all organized. But you guys have been watching me chink the old log cap. Well, the bag I made, it worked great, but it was exhausting. Uh, you know, I got some damage in my neck and, and my hand. It kind of makes things hard to hold. And uh, I was driving, which is when I do all my best thinking. I came up with another idea for how to chink this thing um, without the bags, but with something similar. So... I'm gonna shoot this video and it might fail royally or it might do really good. So I'm gonna walk you through all the steps. So hopefully if some of you guys have a log cabin or some of these chinks, you can use the same stuff and uh, get it all worked out. So I'm gonna show you, show you my process and test it. And then if it works, everybody will have another tool in their bag for chinking a log cabin. I'll be able to get mine done even more fast, even faster. Yeah, even faster. All right, so you've got some various stuff here. I got some three inch PVC pipe, uh, some couplings, some end caps with screw on fittings, uh, some other various fittings, hose clamps, PVC pipe. I got some thick uh, Teflon uh, sheeting here.
All right, guys, so we've got most of our prototype built here. I think I showed y'all last night. Got my handle and everything. Still a little bit tight. I'm worried, worried a little bit about pushing it. So we might have to open this hole up a little bit. Uh, also decided to shorten this just to try to have to hold as far away from the wall. So now, I guess what we're going to do is I'm going to mix up just a little batch of chinking. We're going to take it over and give you some updates on the little bit of chinking we already put in and uh, test this out, see how it works, and maybe get a whole lot of chinking done today. So I actually think we got our mortar for our chinking mixed up about the right consistency. First go. So try and not, I see this could possibly be, if I had to get a brush, I can see this maybe being one of the uh, downfalls. Those are really thick threads, but with it. Do it. And one of the things you're gonna see on the update that I started to do is I did start to put, uh, I did put just a few nails in here, pull it a little bit tighter. It was smashed down into the wood pretty good, but uh, just to be safe, went and got some little nails to put three or four of them in there, so should help. Oh, <laughs> that one works almost too. kind of sideways on me I was worried about that yeah okay so that's why I mean it started off working pretty good I think what happened was I think if I go up to uh, like a three-quarter inch on here where it's not as small because you can see where because this stuff's so thick it was compressing all the the water out of it and making it dry. So that's a whole lot drier than the rest of it. You know, maybe uh, let's rinse this thing off and reset it. Maybe if we uh, make that just a little bit thinner, where it'll push easier, it might might work. So after playing around for just a minute with it, I think part of the problem was actually this handle. A little bit too too sticky especially when a little bit of cement got in there so I'm gonna do the best I can
guys, so that, uh, I don't know if I, would you say it was epic fail? Maybe not epic, it was fail. It worked, it worked. I think uh, Robert pointed out a couple things. Uh, Cause I went and put the nails in here and then trying to be a little smart and not use as much, I ran my wire too far out. Like on this one, you can see and on, on some of these other ones, I have like a flat spot. And on this one, I'd ran that wire right out to the edge. So if I've been able to build it up from the bottom to the top, I think it would have uh, worked out a little bit better. But we got another little part chinked and we're gonna go back through here and uh, go back to the drawing board a little bit, do a little bit of redesign and uh, play around and we'll come back and uh, show you guys what we come up with and the rest of the house being changed. And make sure you stay tuned to the series of these videos because by the time we get to the end of it, we're gonna be experts at chinking and that'll be valuable knowledge by the, time, by the time we get to the end of this porch, we're gonna be like, all right, Robert, you remember 40 years ago when we started <laughs> right here? You have to have a beard down here. Right? You're gonna have the grandkids running around. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, guys, hope you like this video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and check out Robert's pit, uh, uh, channel. Watch your step. And I'm going to get back to some mad science and stuff, see if I can't figure this out. Kitty was saying bye, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Kitty was like, you idiots. <laughs>